Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 8 of My Favorite Norn Scripts. Today I'm going to be covering Organ by Andrew C.S. as well as his combo script Organ Worms, which allows you to record Organ's output into Worms. Organ is described as a 3 operator FM synth with FX inspired by Yamaha Portasound keyboards. Unlike the Yamaha keyboards of the 80s and 90s, Organ gives you full control over the synthesis and FX engines. Before I get into the controls, I want to give a very brief overview of FM synthesis and how Organ's engine works. The FM and FM synthesis stands for frequency modulation. FM synths use sine waves to produce sound and modulate each other's frequencies. Generally, a silent wave that is being used to modulate another wave is called a modulator and a wave that is producing sound is called a carrier. Organ has three sine oscillators and by default two of them are carriers and one is a modulator. By changing the ratio of the modulator wave to the carrier wave, you can drastically alter the timbre of the sound. Simple ratios will produce harmonic sounds, while complex ratios will create inharmonic bell-like sounds. Organ has three menu pages. You can switch between them using buttons 2 and 3. Each page has three parameters that are adjusted with encoders 1, 2, and 3. Holding button 1 will bring up the scale menu. Encoder 1 will change the scale. Encoder 2 will change the tuning and encoder 3 will change the way the octaves are laid out on the grid. Organ comes with a ton of different scales and tuning options. The scale options are only really relevant for the grid and I'll be touching on this again during that part of the video. Page 1 gives you control over the envelope time with encoder 1, the volume of oscillator B with encoder 2, and the modulation level for oscillator B with encoder 3. Page 2's parameters are span, detune, and modulation level for oscillator A. Encoder 1 adjusts the span, which introduces variation in the envelope time for each oscillator individually. Encoder 2 adjusts the detune amount. Since organ is a digital synth, there are no pitch imperfections. This parameter allows slight or extreme amounts of pitch variation to be introduced and can lead to a more analog sounding tone. The final parameter on this page is the modulation amount for oscillator A. This will have the same effect as parameter 3 on page 1, except for oscillator A instead of oscillator B. The final page has some of the FX controls. Encoder 1 controls the dry-wet mix for the FX engine. Encoder 2 controls the sample rate of the engine, and encoder 3 controls the bit depth. There are a lot of additional controls in the parameters menu. I'm going to go in order from the top. The first set of controls are for the synth engine. Level will adjust the overall level of the engine. Pitch can change the global pitch by one octave up or down, and can be used to offset the pitch by a slight amount. Octave adjusts pitch in octaves and can be shifted up or down by 5. Detune is the same control that is accessible from the main menu page. Glide will introduce a pitch ramp up in seconds. The time can range from 0 0.01 to 1 second. Spread is the same control from the main menu. Voicing allows you to swap between mono and polyphonic. Reset will return the parameters to their default state. The next set of controls are for the envelope. Time is the same control from the main menu. Ramp will adjust the curve of the attack if a positive value, or the release if a negative value. Mode allows you to switch the envelope behavior between sustain and transient. If transient is selected, the envelope will behave like a one-shot and will play through its entire length when a note is pressed. Span is the same control from the main menu, and curve sets the curve intensity for the attack if a positive value, or release if a negative value. The LFO controls adjust the depth and rate of the internal LFO. The LFO is a sine wave and mapped to the global pitch of the oscillators. It can be used to introduce a pitch wobble to the engine. The oscillator section is pretty extensive. Here we can change the volume of the three oscillators, the ratios of the three oscillators, and control the routing. Like I said before, by default A and B are carrier waves and C is a modulator, but here we can assign A, B, or C to carriers or modulators and control which oscillator is modulating which. The next group is the FX controls. Once again, we have the dry-wet control from the main menu. The ADC in parameter will control how much of Organ's FX engine is applied to an external audio source. Samples and bits are the same controls from the main menu. Drive will introduce distortion to the signal. Crackle, crinkle, and dust are kind of mysterious, but I'll give you my interpretation of what they do. Crackle sounds like some filtered white noise, and crinkle seems to change the Q value or frequency emphasized. Dust introduces almost a vinyl crackle type effect, and dustiness controls the amount of crackles. After the FX section is the tuning section, and here we can choose a scale preset. This allows you to switch between up to eight different tuning slash scale presets. Once you've selected a preset, you can adjust it from the main menu with the controls I mentioned earlier. After that is the encoder submenu. 
From here, you can adjust what parameters are displayed on the main menu pages. Almost every control from the parameters menu is available here, plus a bunch of softcut and Norns FX controls. The final item in the parameters menu is the demo start slash stop toggle. Enabling this will really give you an idea of what the script is capable of, and I highly recommend checking it out. Unlike most scripts where the grid is mainly for hands-on control of different parameters, Organ's grid feels like a performance tool. Like always, I'm going to be calling the rows 1 through 8 and the columns A through P. Row 1 is used to control the ratio of oscillator C. Row 2 is used to control the ratio of oscillator B. 3A through 3E will change the ratio of oscillator A. 3F through 3I will swap between the scale presets. 3J will lower notes on the grid by one octave, and 3K will raise them by an octave. 3L will switch between mono and poly. 3M will switch the envelope behavior between sustain and transient. 3N through 3P will change the ramp. By default, if 3N is selected, then the envelope will fade in and then immediately drop off when a note is released. If 3O is selected, then the envelope will fade in and out. If 3P is selected, then the note will have an instantaneous attack and a fade out. Rows 4 through 8 and columns A through O are the keyboard. By default, the rows are laid out in octaves and the scale is set to C major pentatonic. If you bring up the scales menu, you'll see two one octave layouts. The top one displays the scale degrees of the current scale and the bottom one is used to set the root note. The final element of the grid are the pattern recorders. These are found in rows 4 through 8 in column P. Pressing one of these buttons will arm recording. Pressing it again will end recording and start looping. Double tapping an active slot will activate overdubbing. Holding an active slot will clear the pattern. Each pattern recorder can record notes, ratio changes, envelope settings, and encoder changes. Like I said in the intro, Andrew has made Organ and Worms available as a combo script called Organ Worms. Organ Worms retains the full functionality of both scripts and the two make an incredible pair. To run this script, you'll need both Organ and Worms installed. When you run this, you'll notice that the grid looks pretty much exactly the same, except instead of the keyboard extending down to row 8, there are instead a few additional controls. 8A will record arm buffer 1 of Worms. 8C will halve the playback buffer speed and 8D will double it. The same controls for buffer 2 are spread from 8H through 8K. Finally, we have 8O, which switches the Norns display focus to organ, and 8P, which switches to worms. Organ is probably my favorite Norns instrument. It sounds great and is a really nice intro to FM synthesis. The level of customization is also pretty unprecedented among Norns scripts. Organ worms is the icing on the cake. Before it came out, I was sampling single organ notes to my OP1 and then recording that into worms. Being able to get the full functionality of both is really something special. That's going to do it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. If you have any script suggestions or any other topics you'd like to see covered in a future video, leave a comment below, and I'll see you next week.